everyone. Uh, today uh, I'm here to present you my new line of uh, trial flies tied with the trigger point. Everybody knows me about my salt water flies and materials and I really wanted to incorporate it, this trigger point as a synthetic on trial flies. I can be here talking forever about this but I don't want to annoy anybody uh, and I don't like myself to talk too much. We're going back uh, over four years um, tying and fishing these flies quite successful pretty much everywhere anywhere and sometimes we feel like it that it's not fair to those fish when we fish with these flies. I don't even have a single one over here to show you because I'm going to tie that. But what I want to show you over here is the classic American match brown. And those flies are tied by Dev Brown, a well-known Cuskill fly tires. Everybody know him. He's a good friend of mine. And been tying those flies for me with natural. And as we all know, natural synthetic is two different things but the natural has been out there forever and it will be there forever so no question about that why synthetic uh, in my opinion it's time to give it to those fishes something a little bit different uh, the fly tie with synthetic are more durable and also I don't know what it is honestly the fish see something a little bit different on it um, the silhouette perhaps I don't know I I really don't know I cannot tell you one thing for another but anyway this is just a start over here but you're gonna hear more about it and I'm gonna be tying a the old line of my trial flies on synthetic so we're gonna start it with the classic American March Brown again this is the classic Cuskill March Brown Dev brand. Tie those for me. I will never fish those flies. They're too beautiful and I'm not gonna touch them. But anyway, let's get busy and I'll show you how simple and easy and effective these flies are. I'm using a uh, a Daiichi hook, a size of 12. Model is 1180, but you can use anything you want, of course. Threads will be red. So I'm gonna start it with the threads. is the fibers this is the I don't know if you can see the light match brown and this is the PMD And this will be the dubbing, which is a synthetic. You can do your own mixing. You can go ahead and use uh, natural, whatever you feel like it. But I'm gonna stick with the synthetic. I'm gonna tie a, a split wing. Okay, and here, how it goes. be very careful how the quantity of the materials we're choosing rather if it's for the wings or for the tail or for the body this seems to be okay
this fiber is being delicate fibers as you can see I'm using a toothbrush over here going back on the thorax area Cross like a figure eight, just like that. I have my little Velcro over here. Velcro, I wish I was the person who invented that because if I was that guy who invented Velcro today. I probably won't be here time flies. If I will time flies, only for my own amusement. Very useful. Any fibers you have it, put in your Velcro stick over there. Wind blows, don't matter. The fibers are always they're gonna be there where you put them. Everybody knows about the glue on the table, tying tables. Always there is a glue everywhere on the tables. You always are fighting with your wife, your girlfriend, whatever. Put a piece of Velcro on the bottom, right there. It's not going anywhere. It's always going to be there when you're looking for it. Good tip, use it. We're going to go back over here. We're going to secure these wings. Okay. And yeah, you're working these materials as a regular wings. I'm going slowly so that you can see what I'm doing. See, this is my split wing. Okay. I heard a rising that pretty soon we're going to go try this fly out there, that's for sure. So I'm going to grab now a little materials for detailing, which will be the same color as I use for the wing. And what I like about it to use this as a tailing because it will have a support on the tail but also it will serve as a shock as well. Okay. So I'm gonna just lash this fibers right on top of it. like that and the length of the tail I go about one and a half and then at the end if I feel like I want to trim a little bit more I can do that we'll see We'll see at the end. So now I'm going to do my body. Here it is. The fibers have a natural buoyancy. They rise very high on the water.
I lash this right on top of the hook shank go all the way at the end and now simply I am starting to wrap the body again take your time once you started a nice tapering body now you see every turn I'm doing I'm twisting the fibers so I will have that quill type or appearance on the body just like that There's one more touch that we're going to be doing, actually two more. I want to make sure the fibers on this wing are split. We're going to dub the thorax. And we're done. Now it's time to cut the wings. I'll show you how I do that. And in the beginning, what I'm suggesting to do is until you get the size just right. You might want to cut a little bit longer because if you cut it shorter you're gonna to have to start all over again so put my fingers over here I'm going a little bit on the longer side and do one straight cut too long so you're going back just like that now remember one thing the other beauty about the the trigger point of this fly tied with the synthetic 
you got a scissor with you along on your vest and if you feel like the wing is still a little bit too long or the tail is a little bit too long you can do your adjustment right on the water with natural material it's a little bit difficult to do that because what one touch over here this is a a marking pen okay just like that I want to pick the dubbing a little bit more just like that And I would like to show you what it looks like. See if we can do a little close up as a split wing. Okay. And I'm turning around. So you can see from the other angle and again you know you can do all your adjustment over here so this is the American March Brown and this is the classic from Dev and this done with the EP trigger point um, I know what you might think I said what what the hell is wrong with the rig now he's going crazy getting to the trout <laughs> with synthetic well when I first started over 25 years ago in salt water uh, pretty much it was a crucifix those days because there was no room for synthetic uh, in salt water but through the years I proved my my point and here I am today um, trigger point for trial flies give him a try give him an honest try and you'll see the difference and let me know what do you think either way I got big shoulders I can take that more to come stay tuned and I have a phone out there and I'm gonna go fishing with the fly in a few minutes we're here and I know we're gonna catch fish okay what flies you what flies you got that's the EP Sulfur Emerger, size 16. It's one of the very best uh, patterns for emerging sulfurs, the beaches, as we can see. Oh. There's the fly right there. The fly out. As you can see, this is the EP. Sulfur emerger. Wow. Nice fly. I let the fly drop in the water. Now we look at what we catch over here. Look, there's a beautiful fish. Look at all the fins. Look at the adipose. It's a, a nice adipose. Let's get revive them and let them go. Nice. Well done, Pepe. I know how to.